Today I'm back in the Broads, sampling some of the immersive bookable experiences in this truly unique national park. This enchanting landscape welcomes 8 million visitors every year, and yet with 125 miles of waterways to explore, there's always room to find peace and space whenever you choose to come. Many people come in the summer, but you can connect with the landscape, culture and wildlife at any time of the year with the Broads National Park Experience Collection. Whilst the Broads is probably best known for boating holidays, it is also blessed with lots of accommodation. Everything from cosy self-catering cottages to stunning boutique hotels offering quirky luxury and fine dining. The Norfolk Mead is just one great example. This wonderful award-winning hotel is situated on the banks of the River Bure. It has elegant bedrooms, a yacht for guests to hire, eight acres of private grounds, a quintessentially English walled garden, spa treatment rooms, and fine dining. Wow. Oh, wow. Thanks, Liv. No problem. Thank you Enjoy. so much. Well, before we tuck into this delicious cream tea, <laughs> what would you say is the best part of living here, working here, and having your place here? I think, um, truly, honestly, it's because we've got the best of both. So we've got the city, we've got Norwich, where it's very buzzy, and then you've got here the tranquility, it's picturesque, it's peaceful. Tell us about the food on the Broads. We have so many different places that you can eat. We have local cafes, beautiful pubs, fish and chips, so people can get a little bit of everything for when they come and stay. So you're obviously high-end accommodation here, but um, Norfolk offers so many other types as well, doesn't it? We're higher end, we're boutique-y, but there's such a variety. You can camp, pubs with rooms is very popular, and also self-catering cottages, which is great. You know, you can bring your dog and, and then go and venture to other restaurants and things on the coast and on the broads. Personally, what do you love best about the broads? Oh, getting on the, on the water. I love paddleboarding, so yeah, that's one of my favourite pastimes at the moment. So after a restful night's sleep and an energising breakfast, we're ready for our first Broads experience. And this is a very special one. The best way to explore the Broads is from the water. So a kayak, a paddleboard or a canoe will allow you access to the quietest areas where you can silently observe the wildlife. Norfolk Outdoor Adventures offers a coffee and kayak paddle adventure where you can immerse yourself in the wildlife whilst taking in the beautiful scenery under the guidance of experienced instructors. You're ready. Coffee. Ready to go? Very ready, yeah. Cool. Looking forward to it. All right. So if you just hang on to the side, I'll jump into my boat. We'll go off together. Lovely. Cool. So Martin, how easy is it for a first-time paddler? So. To get into one of our kayaks, it's super easy. You know, we take people from absolute beginners through to people who've got a little bit more experience, and that's really down to the equipment that we have. We've bought really good quality equipment that's very, very stable and fit for purpose here on Hickling. And is the key to keeping quiet? For sure, that's the joy of the kayaks. You know, they're very silent, and we can also access places of the broad that you can't get to by boat, can't even get to it by paddleboard, so we can really get to some very inaccessible places. But the great thing is it's a year-round destination, isn't it? Do you kayak all through the winter as well? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, we take people out in all conditions and actually Hickling Broad in the off-season is, in my opinion, one of the best times to see it because it doesn't have people, it doesn't have the boat traffic, different wildlife. It's a great place to come and you won't get cold because we don't get wet. If you want to stretch your legs, the Broads National Park offers some beautiful walks. The area is largely flat and easy going and the scenery is always stunning, especially under these massive open skies. Our walking tours also offer you an insight into the unique heritage of the area and you can connect with the landscape. This isolated abbey has an incredible story. It was once a thriving monastery and it was instrumental in the formation of the Broads as we know them today. The abbey was a source of peat which was sold for fuel and the peat digging was flooded over hundreds of years to form the Broads. But there's even more to discover about St Bennet's. Rebellion, revolts, misbehaving monks and even a wealthy Knight of the Garter who inspired a Shakespeare character. So pretty. You'll see some stunning sights, discover some intriguing stories and make some wonderful memories of your own wherever you choose to walk in the Broads.
Sailing and boating are synonymous with the Broads and it would be a great shame to visit without including some of these experiences in your itinerary. Boating holidays started here over a hundred years ago and they're still very popular today. The inland waterways of the Broads provide a safe place to sample the delights of sailing for the first time. Andy, this is just bliss sailing out here today. What makes it so special, do you think? The you? Broads is just a fantastic playground for sailing. It's, it's a safe inland waterway, so it's fantastic for beginners, but equally it's a narrow river, so it really tests the skills of experienced sailors as well. I love sailing because it's peaceful, it's quiet, you don't have the noise of the engine, you're using nature to propel you, you're close to nature because it's quiet. Do you sail all year round as well? Yeah, people sail all year round. You've got to be hardy to sail in the winter, but as sailors say, there's no such thing as wrong weather, just wrong clothing. If you've got the right clothes, you can sail in the winter. The nature is different. The reeds are brown, different birds. You know, so it's just so different, but beautiful. And if you can sail in Norfolk, you can take those skills and sail anywhere. Another great alternative is to step back in time and sample a bygone era of the Broads on a beautifully restored classic 1950s wooden cruiser. She was in the hire fleet in the 1950s. Moorhen is her name. She was known as one of the honeymoon boats in the hire fleet in those days. And she's beautifully restored, beautifully varnished. And we're offering opportunity for people to sample the Broads as it was you know, 50 years ago. We'll give you a skipper for the day. We'll give you a picnic and you can go off and enjoy the river, enjoy the wildlife without having to worry about sails if it's not your thing. I hope you've enjoyed this sample of the Broads National Park experiences and that this video has inspired you to include this unique part of England within your travel plans. All the experiences and the accommodation can be booked directly or tailored to your itinerary. We hope to see you very soon in the Broads National Park.